guys thanks for watching my videos uh, this is road test buddy if you've used my video to pass your road test I'm happy for you congratulations uh, if you're new to this channel uh, please hit the subscribe button and also uh, hit the like button and drop a comment and let me know how you find my videos okay all right so we are currently at the newest uh, test center in Burlington and this center is called the Burlington temporary uh, road test center the Burlington temporary site and it's where we have the go train coming so the go station is here where you have the go train uh, you can see the sign right there uh, on top uh, so yeah uh, where the Tim Hortons is far away there the go train uh, session is right there so you're about to start uh, you would have parked in front of me where you have the combs um, the, the, so you, the examiner may ask you to start off from that side there but we are just behind we don't want to interfere with people taking their test and we're gonna start uh, in this video we're gonna be going on one of the routes that we just found out it's actually a new route so uh, I'm gonna be going there with you and I'll be emphasizing the key things to observe and I hope that this video helps you so once you start as I'm now say ask check your vehicle and ask you if you're ready give you the rules of the game which is what you should do and what you shouldn't do they might tell you to do your stops completely instead of rolling they might tell you to check your speed if you're doing your blind spots they might tell you to do your blind spots properly now we are all set are we ready good so let's make a left turn and pull out of the parking lot so now we are getting out of the parking lot you do your observations completely and then when it's all safe you come out now when you get out you're gonna be seeing a line right on the floor as you can see it's recommended you actually required to stop completely so start behind the line signal to your left scan carefully if there's no vehicle you can proceed to make a turn so there's no vehicle at the moment so we proceed to make our turn the examiner is going to be guiding you on how to get out so we're going to make a turn here good the examiner will be using their hand to guide you just to make it easy for you in the parking lot the speed should be approximately under 20 kilometers so make sure you are not too fast and not too slow too we have a line on the floor which is a stopping line so stop completely do your observation to your left and to your right and then when safe take a right turn you are still considered to be within the parking lot you are just exiting so don't speed speed limit should be kept under 20 kilometers okay around 20 kilometers is good okay 15 20 kilometers is good now we have a stop sign it is not an all-way there's no line and there's no sidewalk so you pull to the edge of the road you scan carefully to make sure nobody is coming and then from there mm -hmm. good good and and then from there you make a turn when it is safe good So once you turn and you are on this road, it is Queensway Road, uh, Queensway Street. So we're going to make a left turn at the traffic intersection. The examiner will tell you ahead of time. So let's make a left. Good. This very light. Uh, is Queensway um, connected with Plains Road on the left so we're making a left turn it's green with no arrow there's no vehicle coming straight we scan around everybody has stopped you can see all the vehicles stop and then you make a turn closer to the yellow line the yellow median when you turn guys notice that there are two lanes here right when you make that left turn turn into the immediate lane now with this route do not do a lane chain guys stay in this lane just observe your speed limit is 50 kilometers on this street called Plains Road East. Plains Road East. So please do not change lane. Stay in this lane. Check your speed. As you are about to descend the hill, it's very hilly. As you're about to descend, you may gain a lot of speed. You will actually gain speed. So please control your speed, check your speed, make sure you are not speeding. Now the examiner is gonna tell you to make a left turn. In route number two, we actually made a right turn at this light. In route number two. But for this very route, you are not gonna make a right turn at that yield turn towards Brunt. 
you are actually going to make a left turn at this light and guess what this is one of the easiest traffic lights why there is a very different left turn signal there is a unique left turn signal meaning you don't get to do creeping forward and waiting if it's green it's always going to be green arrow for you when you're making your turn it's one of the easiest left turns there is a unique signal dedicated for just left turn isolated so when it turns green it's going to always be an arrow at that light pay attention now we are going down the valley under the bridge it turns into a multiple lanes here three lanes speed limit is 50 guys it turns to be a little bit busy on this side you want to keep your speed limit to 50 kilometers guys remember when you make that left turn at brunt you're gonna go underneath the bridge like a valley the speed limit is 50 kilometers we are still on brunt and the street the street across us right now this light is fairview street uh it is a three lane road do not change lane until he tells you to do that the speed limit on this road is 50 kilometers do not do a lane change just keep your speed if traffic is slow flow with traffic but do not speed above the speed limit okay currently the turning signal is on for folks making a left turn so they are making a left turn and we are waiting for the one on top which is red to change to green so we can also proceed now this is what is gonna happen when you pass Fairview Street at the next set of light coming up the examiner is gonna ask you to make a left turn at that light it gets a little bit tricky there so I want you to pay very good attention there is a middle lane there with uh, a yellow marking on the inside and kind of a broken lines which is also yellow on the outside he's gonna tell you to make a left turn do not turn into the yellow area here it's not for you it's for people making a turn into a hidden street here you are gonna be turning into this small zone here can you see that this is where you are gonna be turning when you come here and it's just green creep forward and cross your thick white line into the pedestrian zone and don't rush there are two lanes of vehicles coming straight you need both of them to be clear in other words when it's just green here the name of the street we are about to turn into is called prospect street prospect street the one on the right hand side is graham's lane you want both two lanes to be clear as we have now and then you make a left turn the moment you make the left from brunt into prospect lane you are in a community so it is community driving which is 40 kilometers the examiner will say you should make a left turn right here the name of the street you're about to turn into is called robinson street so we are just about turning into robinson remember the moment we left off brunt into prospect in less than 50 kilometers or 100 kilometers we made a left turn into uh, 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 prospect and then from prospect we made a left turn into robinson street it's all 40 kilometers at this stage and what is going to happen the examiner is going to tell you to make a right turn and he's going to tell you to do your parallel parking all right please parallel park with this car so she just did a blind spot check the back a little bit without turning and then she began turning and she drops the speed to make sure that she's parking and, and moving into the lane nicely without hitting the curb watch my video on parallel parking you will know how to do a good parallel parking and then basically you just go forward and Park a vehicle if the gap is good. Let's drive when safe. Put the car in drive signal. Blind spot check to your left. Check your front. And then when all is clear, slowly turn your steering all the way to your left and then begin to pull out. We're gonna make a right turn. The street we're about to turn into is called Maple Wood Drive. It is not an hallway. It has a line on the floor, so complete stop. Scan carefully. If you can't see the road clearly, creep forward. You won't be able to see the road clearly, so creep forward again. Check carefully. 
and make a right turn. There are parked vehicles on the right, so I want to make sure you are able to see deeper, just in case a vehicle is coming straight. Now that you've turned into Maplewood Drive, what should you expect? The examiner is going to tell you to either pull over and do an uphill and down your parking, or he's going to tell you to do a three-point turn. But he will also, he or she will tell you to make a turn into Erdenburg, which is a street coming up in about three, four hundred meters. He or she is going to tell you to uh, make a turn into Edinburgh. For now, we're just driving straight. And the speed limit here is 40 kilometers because it is a neighborhood. Let's take a left turn at an intersection coming up. So you see the sign for playing kids with a red fire hydrant. The sign here also says 40 kilometers. You see a street on the left and there is a sign on the right which says no exit so you are making a left turn the name of the street we are turning into is called is called edinburgh edinburgh drive from maplewood into edinburgh good now that you've turned it's gonna let you just go into the curve it's a very very sharp curve guys don't speed there could also be a vehicle coming straight to so split the road into two equal parts and keep to your right and be smooth and slow keep your speed around 18 kilometers okay around 18 kilometers now when you turn he's gonna now tell you this is a very wide street Edinburgh is very wide it's not busy as well keep it safe please pull over when safe and demonstrate an uphill parking when you pull over please don't block your driveway and don't hit the curb if you hit a curb it's a violation, so please make sure you don't hit the curb and stay one foot away from the curb. With an uphill parking, you turn your wheels all the way to the left. And then after that, very good. So she's she's done that real quick. That was quick. Uh, we're gonna make a three-point turn here. So she's deactivating her parking brake, changing the gear, observation, turning the wheels all the way to the left do your observation if there is a driveway please don't enter into a driveway make sure the beginning of the driveway is treated as a curb do not enter into a driveway where the driveway is facing you when you make your first turn when you're going on your reverse change your car gear to reverse on your back and then also do your observations left blind spot right blind spot move slowly don't hit a curb and when you stop you turn your steering all the way to the left, do your observations completely, and then when safe, you begin to turn slowly to move into position into your new space on your right hand side. Now you are done with your uphill parking with a curb, and you are also done with your three point turn, you are just returning back to the test center. Now we are back to the sharp curve in Edinburgh. Drop your speed just before you get to it. It can be very, very sharp. So please drop your speed three seconds before you get to that intersection we're gonna make a right turn back on Maplewood Drive which connects to Edinburgh it's a line on the floor it's not an always stop so stop behind the line first completely for two three seconds scan to make sure there's no pedestrian creep forward a bit and angle your vehicle to your right if you don't angle to your right you might turn wide and check carefully if there is no vehicle you make a right turn remember with this neighborhood, when you stop, you will not be able to see the intersection correctly. So stop at the stopping position of the line. Check for pedestrians. If there is none, creep forward with a slight angle to your right. And then when safe, you can turn. The speed limit here is 40 kilometers. There may be parked vehicles. So if there is a parked vehicle and there is no other vehicle coming straight ahead of you, feel free to create a decent gap to make your passing. Don't be too close to a parked vehicle. It could be a violation if you do that. Now we are approaching an intersection where we had Robinson on the left, but we are not turning back to Robinson where we came from. We are going to be making a right turn so we can get back. So right turn, good. And it's a stop sign with a line on the floor. It is not an always stop sign. So we stop completely. You can see the name of the dealership here, Ford. So we are coming out of Edinburgh for, uh, from Maple Road to connect back to Brunt Street. We check carefully. It's a three-lane road. Please turn into the immediate right lane, not the side after the bike lane because it makes a right turn. You turn into the immediate lane that goes straight, which is this one, not the one making a right turn on Fairview Street. 
and then when you stop stop behind the car see his wheels completely don't be too close do not be too far and don't be too close when you stop be able to see all his wheels without being too far at the same time now when you are in this lane we're gonna pass through Fairview we're gonna go straight um, ahead on Brand Street remember Fairview is in front of us when we cross this light, the examiner will tell you just before you go underneath the bridge, he's gonna tell you, or he or she is gonna tell you to make a right turn at the next traffic intersection. You will need a lane change. Remember, he will tell you, he or she will tell you ahead of time, just so you know what you do, okay? So we're going straight. It's 50 kilometers on Brandt, going through Fairview. We are still in this lane at the moment. And then there is another light coming just before we go underneath the bridge. So check your speed. Don't speed. The vehicles might be speeding. Good. Now we are about to go underneath the bridge. The examiner will tell you to make a right turn at the light coming up. Do your signal. Do a blind spot. Make sure you do not impede any vehicle. And then you do a lane change. Just under the bridge. Now we are about to make a right turn back to Plains Road East. It is a right turn with a yield panel. With a yield panel look deep to see if there is a pedestrian within the yield there is no pedestrian at the moment as you can see so when you get there with your signal on just scan carefully to all points of the other intersections that may flow into our side so we're going to just slowly check when safe we make a quick turn remember practice on the yield with a yield you have to make sure you check traffic clearly before you turn whether it's red light or green light make sure you scan carefully so you don't miss any vehicle We've made a turn into uh, Bra uh, Plains Road East, where we are climbing back uh, the bridge to get back to the test center. We are literally about one minute away from the test center. And I like to show you guys the test center so you can see it. Can you see that? That is a test center right there uh, with a Tim Hortons right there with a the parking lot, right? So that tells you you're getting right back there. You're about to descend, check your speed. You're gonna gain a lot of speed when you're descending. So please be cautious of your speed so you do not speed. And all you have to do now is to wait for the examiner to tell you to make a turn on the light. Please take a right turn on the light. The signal, don't drop your speed too early. This signal has a timer. Uh, the pedestrian palm has a timer. It's about to change, but we've made a turn. Good. So just make sure when it's green, and then you turn nicely. And then when you get back here, you do a lane change to the left. Good. Because this lane is what connects us back to the testing center. And the rest is just you. You can see the go train way ahead. That is a go train. Good. So we're basically going to revert back to the test center. You don't use the first entrance. You don't enter from here. You use the second entrance, which has the Burlington Go train sign on it and watch your vehicle positioning so that you don't drift out of your lane, okay? You make a smooth turn and the rest is history. If there is any vehicle coming straight, yield to the vehicle. If there's no vehicle, you proceed to make a left turn. The examiner will use a hand to guide you. So you make a left turn here and turn nicely around the yellow line. Drop your speed, don't speed. Remember back in the parking lot, you are normally around 20 kilometers or less, okay? It could be less than that when you're turning, so please do not speed. We got a line on the floor. It doesn't have a stop sign, but with lines, you have to stop completely scan. There is a vehicle right on our side, so we creep forward a little bit to make sure we check there is no other vehicle coming. And then we turn smoothly. And then I like you to just make a turn here to this side on the right here, so we can park on the right hand side. And park with your front if you can, please. Park with your front. Good. You needed a signal, you didn't turn your signal. Good, you have it on now. So nicely, we are in the spot. Check your vehicle, make sure you are properly within the lane. Check your back to make sure you are, your back is not, your back of your uh, car is not outside of the lane. And then you fix it nicely. You're back in the center. You park, you activate your parking brake. You take a deep breath. You give yourself a smile because you just passed your road test, right? So here is it, guys. We went on the third test route. It's basically the same as the second test route the only difference is that when you get to plains road east versus brand we no longer make a right turn we made a left turn 
and then when we made a left turn we went straight underneath the bridge which is still 50 kilometers went to a couple of intersections uh, we went through fairview street and then we saw the ford dealership on the right the next light after fairview you're making a left turn there that is prospect street we made a left turn on prospect uh, prospect is a bit tricky because he has a turning lane where you have a thick yellow on the inside followed by a broken yellow or a splitting yellow uh, on the outside you do not enter from that one you have to get closer to the traffic in a section of prospect where you see a different lane pretty tiny telling you to make a left turn. that is where you begin to enter from there be careful not to enter the wrong side of the lane before you make a turn into prospect and then when you get to prospect there is a good chance you may not get a turning uh, advanced green on the light it might just be green creep forward to pass the thick line and then when you creep forward what do you do you basically just uh, when you creep forward basically what do you do you basically just um, uh, make a left turn when the traffic is clear and then when you make that left turn you're going to be making a quick left turn into robinson street which is about 100 meters away from the turning of uh, prospect uh, it doesn't have a stop sign there uh, so if there's no vehicle check ahead of time scan no need to stop if there's no vehicle coming straight if there's a vehicle coming straight definitely you're going to be stopping and let the vehicle pass if there's no vehicle coming straight you proceed to turn smoothly if there's no pedestrian as well and then when you turn you basically turn into robinson street the examiner may tell you to do a parallel parking there if he doesn't tell you to do a parallel parking there he might tell you to um, to 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 make a right turn on maplewood drive and then from Maple, the rest is just a continuation into Edinburgh 3 point turn and you're getting back. I hope you enjoyed the video and then you are basically getting back again. Watch the video thoroughly. Remember, it takes practice to pass a road test. You might be a really good driver, but you might still fail a road test. So please do your best to do practice. Don't, don't be overconfident. It's better to be overprepared than to go ill prepared. And remember, no examiner feels a test uh, applicant for road test most of the time the students fail themselves by lack of preparation and being nervous i wish you all the best with your road test hit the subscribe button and drop a comment as well drop a like as well if you enjoyed this video share with your friends okay if you want me to produce a video on your city's testing center for your g2 and your g road test kindly uh, drop a comment down there subscribe and i will do my best to produce a video on that this is road test buddy have a good day. Bye.